Hey, welcome back to the Brooklyn Brothers Cooking Channel. Today, Chef Dom is going to show you how to make Italian wedding soup with our own fresh homemade meatballs. Anyway, let's get cooking. Today, we're going to do Italian wedding soup with meatballs and spinach in there and carrots, celery, onions, garlic, and all kinds of good stuff. And all right. We're going to get started on our meatballs right now. I got 80 20, that's 80% meat, 20% fat. Just gonna go ahead and add about a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Went ahead and pressed some garlic, that's two cloves. About three tablespoons of Parmesan. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of parsley, that's Italian parsley. And then we're going to go ahead and put a cup of breadcrumbs, Italian style. We're going to put one egg. And now we're going to go ahead and put about a quarter cup of water. And mix these up real good. Alright, we're going to go ahead and start rolling these meatballs up. I like to keep a cup of water on the side so this way um, keeps the meat from sticking to your hands. Anyway, we're going to roll these up about a quarter size. It's real nice. Alright, meatballs are ready for the oven. Alright, preheat the oven to 425 and let these cook for about 30 minutes. Alright, the meatballs are ready. And then 20 minutes, perfect. Oh, look at those meatballs. Get that soup going. All right, we're gonna start cutting our uh, veggies up. All right, we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in there. Paul will let you know how many tablespoons that is. <laughs> yeah, it looks like about, uh, about three tablespoons. <laughs> we got some carrots, some garlic, onion, celery. We're gonna throw in some fresh spinach. Smells good already. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just gonna put a little bit of salt, you know, some pepper. I love peppery soup. There you go. You don't want to brown them. You want to just just until they're clear. Now we're gonna add our chicken stock. We got about uh, four quarts of chicken stock in there. Now we're gonna let that come to a boil. Soup's been boiling now for about 10 minutes. So we got some uh, tubatini pasta here. The tallini. The tallini. We put that in there. It's almost a pound. About eight ounces, yeah. Mix that up a bit. Now we're gonna throw in our meatballs. Yeah, the meat the ball. I eat these like M&M's, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See, I like to pre-cook the meatballs before we put them in the soup. Gives it a much nicer texture. Uh, now, you know, this is not called Italian wedding soup because they... The Italians eat this at their weddings. <laughs> <laughs> this is the soup before Christmas. This is called Minestra Maritata, which means married soup. And the reason why they call it married soup is because the meat marries well with the veggies. Go figure. <laughs> <laughs> we got some fresh spinach here. See Baby that? Spinach. Thoroughly. Washed Very before good. anybody else says it. <laughs> you didn't clean your spinach. <laughs> That's all right. Very good. Very nice. Oh man, it looks wonderful. All right, ready to go. That's it, man. Nice. 
All right. Look and at that plate. soup, that's guys. Very, very nice. And to top it off, we're going to put a little fresh grated cheese on top. Parmesan. Now that is beautiful. a work of art. That is beautiful. Yum, yum. Let's eat. All right, let's do a taste test here. Got our soup. That's some of our mm. Parmesan cheese. Very good. Mm. Very good. Mm. So easy to make. Yeah, I definitely have to try to make this uh, Italian wedding soup. It's it's phenomenal. It's real simple. It's quick, and uh, it's a real crowd pleaser. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye bye.